Ben's reaction. So funny. What's wrong? Ah! What's wrong with mommy's face? Well, you want to look at me? Huh? What's wrong with my face? What's wrong with my face? What? <laughs> you don't like it? Or you don't like the mask? Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? Um, I hope you guys liked the little intro that I did. Sorry, I'm adjusting my seat. I know I look a little crazy right now, but I went ahead and did my whole face except for the things that are in BoxyCharm. So I did my foundation, concealer, I set my face, I did a little bit of a cream contour. I do have powder here in case there's any fallout in the shadows. Uh, my crazy brows because I'm letting them grow in so they might be a little off for a little while, but they definitely have to grow in. So what you saw me already do in my intro was these face masks here. Um, they're Dermovia Lace Appeal Black Bamboo Charcoal Peel-Off Masks. And I didn't feel that it hurt too much pulling it off, but my face is not as sensitive as most. So, I mean, I really like the mask. I can't wait to do it again. I figure maybe once a week and, you know, I only get two weeks out of it, but if I like it and it does something for me, I'm going to buy the full one. So, the next thing I got in my BoxyCharm was the... Pure Midnight Masquerade, of course. There's the box for it. I did open it up and look at it. Um, I didn't swatch any of them yet because I wanted to do it here with you guys. And um, I did stick my fingernail in one by accident. And it was my favorite one, the one I was like most excited about in the whole palette, which was the green. But they do have these. This is the palette here. I don't want to hold it up too high because I don't want to blind just. Um, it has like the little mirror up here. And then it has a highlight, a blush, another blush. And this is kind of like a, a um, bronze topper almost, like a, like a shimmery bronzer. Um, let me lift this up so you can see the colors more true to color. So I'll get that closer. This is those ones right here. So I think they're really pretty. I think this one might be a little too dark for a blush for me, but I will use it as an eyeshadow. I'm sure it was some point or another. I do that very often. All right, and here are the shadows. There's only one matte, which is this brown right here, and all the rest of them are shimmers, and I hope that it's given them justice for the colors that they are. You can see the shimmer in that pink. It's crazy. Green also. But, um, yeah, so let me swatch them for you real fast. I'll do it in the back of my hand. There's like a silvery shade. Sorry. They smell like vanilla, too. They actually smell really nice. Sorry, it wasn't fallout. That was me blowing something off, so off my hand. Green. Sorry, I'm trying to wipe it off so I can do more swatches. Um, I'm going to swatch the brown matte, the only matte in the palette. That's pretty. It's not as crazy dark as it looked. Alright, so these are all the eyeshadows in the palette right here. So here's the matte brown, which it may look blotchy, but I never trust swatches anyway. I just do this to show you the color. So those are all the colors there. I think it's going to be a very beautiful inner corner highlight right there. They're beautiful colors. Sorry. My face is itching. Every time I use the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation, my face like itches for the first like 15 minutes. And it's not, like I'm not allergic to it, it's just irritating. Like it feels like there's a hair on my face right here. I just put more powder on it by accident. Brush that off in a minute. All right, I'm gonna swatch the highlight, which I'm very excited because I waited to do this for you guys. And I love my highlights. So, highlight, that looks beautiful. The first blush, which is kind of extra red, or pink, I mean. It's like the cranberry almost. The purple almost looks cranberry when you swatch it. And then the one that's like a bronze topper is kind of orangey. Sorry, my face is like really itchy. I didn't realize how bad it was. I haven't used it in so long. All right, so here's the highlight. There's the pinkier blush. That's the purpley looking uh, blush, but looks more cranberry in my hand. And that's like the bronze topper or a really nice highlight for darker skin tone. 
I don't know why it does that. Drive me insane. All right, so I went through that. I also got the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I've never used this before, so I'm pretty excited to try it. I know that Cosmetics is a very nice, it's a very good company. Um, but here's the Superhero Mascara. It has a very thick top, on, bottom on it. Like, it's weird, but it looks cool. Like, it almost looks like a decorative piece. And here's the wand on that. You can see it. And then I got the Kat Von D uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. Which, if I'm right, this color is going to kind of wash my skin tone out without a liner. So I'm going to have to use a lip liner with it. Here's that. And I can swatch that for you on my hand. Yeah, this color kind of makes me look like very, very bland. I don't... It's the same as the... <clears throat> excuse me. The same... It's basically the same color as the Ofra Cosmetics um, lipstick we got. Like I got it in Verona. And there's a Kat Von D. Like, they're almost exactly the same. My light's not picking it up all the way. But that's the lipstick right here. That's the Kat Von D. And then the Ofra Verona is just, like, a little bit more of a warmer shade than the Kat Von D. But it's, like, exact color, just warm. Like, it's warm and then cool tone. So I had the same problem with the Ofra one. But I did like it. Um, it's supposed to be transfer proof and all that stuff. I hope it is. All right, me scratch my face for the hundredth time and get other things on my face now so that way it'll stop itching. All right, so moving into the face palette, I'm going to start with the bronze topper. And I'm going to go in very lightly because I don't want it to be too shimmery. And like I said, I did a little bit of a cream contour. I don't know if you can tell, but I actually used the Cover FX drops that I got from BoxyCharm. Um, in the deep shade as my contour and it looks really nice so there's nothing yeah I don't think it's gonna work out too well I mean it's working but I don't want it to look like gold shimmer in my um, contour area And I do clean all my brushes before I do my videos because I don't want like any of the shadows I use to be messed up by any other shadows I previously used or any bronzers or blush or anything like that. Um, some of my brushes are stained from various, you know, colors that have stained them, but they're all clean at the start of every video. So it wasn't too bad. Just a little shimmery. So if you like your face fully matte, I wouldn't suggest using that as a bronzer. For blush, I'm going to attempt to... Oh, I'm debating. I think I might go with the cranberry. Maybe I'll mix the cranberry and the pink to see what happens. Just very lightly. Wow. Look at that. I just touched it once. That was the pink. There you go. I put the cranberry on top and that's it. But a lot of pigmentation. Definitely tap out your brush very well. I don't use, sorry, I'm looking in my mirror. I don't use a lot of darker blushes or any like crazy pigmented blushes. I don't really care for blush too much. But, uh, tell you it feels good going over the itchy spots on my face. <laughs> I don't understand why it's just the first few minutes that I use that foundation that like dries my face insane. All right. Now I'm going to keep these in here actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. That way it doesn't mess with the colors like getting into each other. Like I don't want the blue, like the jean color blue or the purple getting into my highlight or anything. So I'm going to keep them in there. And I'm going to very lightly, because I don't know what the pigmentation really is in the eyeshadow. But I'm going to very lightly go into the matte brown here, and I'm going to start putting that in my crease. i put that back in a minute. And of course, I'm using my Morphe 330. Like, I like to stick to my same brushes, especially when I'm trying something new, to make sure that, you know, it's not 
brush failure or something like that if I don't care for the product. This does have like a crazy vanilla smell to it. It's awesome. I love it, but. So this isn't going to be too extravagant of a look because there's really not enough mattes for it to be too crazy. So I'm just going to put the brown in here. And then probably use the green shade on my eyelid. I'm not going to use too many colors. I'll mess around with it and probably do another look or two throughout the month with it. But it doesn't seem blotchy um, or too crazy dark like I thought it was going to be. So I'm just trying to bring it down a little bit. Switch brushes. I'm using a flat, like flat but fluffy shader brush. I'm just going to bring this down on my eyelid a little bit more. Just a little bit, just to deepen up the outer V of my eye. And that's about all I'm doing with that. That's my Morphe brush. If you see, I'm not even swirling in it. I'm just like tapping my brush in it like this. Tapping it off and then going into my crease with it. And you can see all the pigmentation that's already there just from that little bit of tapping into it. Exact same amount, just tapping it out lightly. And look at that. There is a good amount of pigmentation. This is a very good matte eyeshadow. I've heard mixed reviews about Pure. But if all their shadows are similar to this, I think I would like them. I don't think that I would have a problem with Pure Cosmetics. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan, but like I said, pigmentation's there, so I don't really care too much. As long as there's pigmentation, I don't care if there's kick up. I mean, unless it's like extreme amounts to where it's, you know, unworkable, then I would care, but it's not. Like, I already put this down just to make sure the, if you can even see it anymore, the white, the um, Cody Airspun powder, I'm sorry. Too focused on what I'm doing, I couldn't think of what I was trying to say. I'm trying to make sure they're even. Without blocking the eyes at least. It did skip a little bit in the front, but I always consider that to be user error because I have loose skin on my eyelids and it's not like I'm not 20 anymore. So it's going to be loose there and I can't really blame the eyeshadow unless I know like I see it somewhere else, like in my eyelid or something, or if I see it in my crease, then I know it's the actual eyeshadow, but if I only see it in the front, I know it's my fault that I have loose skin there. I'm going to bring a little bit of this dark brown into the front too. Sorry, I'm trying to make this video a little quick. I need to pick up my kids in a few minutes from school. Sorry. And this may look a little crazy to you guys at first, but I promise it'll look good at the end. Alright, so there's all the brown on. You can see it. I'm going to go and use my favorite shader brush, which is the LMR Cosmetics brush. And I'm going to try to use this green without any Fix Plus or anything. I'm um, sorry, I'm going to look at my little mirror here. Oh yeah, you don't even need it for this. It goes on beautifully. I mean, if you add it, it'll actually give it the extra oomph, but... I'm going to add it just to try. <clears throat> I'm almost out of my Fix Plus. I need to get a new one. I hate that when I spray it and it just like totally goes past it. Didn't even hit my brush the first two sprays. 
So I'm kind of just tapping and then swiping to get it on there. I really like this color. As soon as I saw the uh, spoiler for this and I actually saw the colors, I was so excited about this green. Because I really don't have a shimmer like it in any of my palettes I have here, so... And that's why it was so exciting to me because it's like a green, I don't know if the camera's going to catch it through my lights, but it's like a green, but it has like a gold flex to it. I'm going to blend in some more of the darker color on the outer edge. Sorry, I, I always end up making this into like a tutorial, but I'm, I don't mean to, like I'm just trying to explain everything as I do it so you guys know like why I get this opinion or that opinion or I'm really not trying to teach us how to do it not in this video at all now one thing I am noticing with this is it doesn't like pick up the lines in my eyelids crazy but it does pick it up a little bit so just you know be aware of that and I only use my um, Tarte uh, Shape Tape as my I mean, as my uh, eyelid primer, and then I did set that with uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder. But I used the Cody Airspun powder for over here to stop the fallout, just because I feel like I can waste that more, and I can waste the Laura Mercier because I can't really afford to go out and get a new one yet. So I'm sure you guys get it. Alright, so that's the green on, which I guess you can't really see too well with my camera. Um, but it does look very, very nice. Let's see. Wipe my brush off. And I'm going to use the white color in that palette for my inner corner and my brow bone highlight, which I know my one brow is like, I'm sorry, it's not white, it's a silver color right there. I know my brows are like crazy different, but like I said, I'm trying to grow them in, and if I mess with them at all, then it's like kind of pointless for everything I've gone through with them for the past couple weeks. I think this color, in order for it to stand out, you're going to have to spray your uh, brush, because it's kind of like lackluster once you get it on the brush. Like it looks shimmer shimmery and shiny in my in the pan, but it doesn't look like that when you get it on the brush. Like it just looks like a dull white powder. Hopefully it works better than it looks on the brush. Oh yeah, it worked. It's exciting. Sorry, I get very excited when I find a new inner corner highlight color. And I get so excited sometimes I mess it up. <laughs> Use a little bit of my arch of my brow, what's left of it at least. This color kind of looks silvery. But it kind of has like a baby blue hue to it. It's actually very pretty. I wasn't expecting for that to be a color I'd like in, in this palette. Like I knew I'd like that green as soon as I saw it. But this silvery color, I really wasn't expecting to like. But I really do. It's nice. If you can see it. Alright, so there's that part. Um, put this back up, sorry. If you see me looking up, like staring off. I'm looking at my time. I want to make sure that I'm not running behind. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to use the highlighter. Duh. So I'm going to try using the lightest highlighter in here, of course. You know, right here. I don't know if it's going to be too light. I might have to mix it with the darker one. Let's we'll see. And you know what would help? If I dusted away that powder under my eye. I mean, you can see a highlighter already. It's beautiful. I think I'm going to like it. I'll spray my face so that way it gets rid of the rest of the powder. But this is kind of, I mean, it's buildable. You can definitely see it on my cheek. It looks crazy in there. In person, it does not look that blinded. But it is a beautiful color. I really, really like it. Of course, I'm going to coat my face in it way more than I need to. I 
I like highlighters. It's one of my favorite things about makeup is highlighters. Little hairs. It's hot in here, so my hair is going to just spring up into little curls. All right. So that was the palette. Um, I really like it. I'm excited about it. It's not... I mean, I should probably add a little bit more of that brown into my crease, but I'm on a time limit. I'm going to use mascara now. I'm going to add it out for myself. I have very long lashes, so any mascara makes my lashes look longer. Like you can see already. Um, I probably should have curled them. I don't often curl my lashes, but I feel like if a mascara isn't going to curl them, that's when I will. There you go. You can see it did, I mean, it did something for my lashes. They just need to be curled. My hands are so shaky. I'm sorry. I mean, I think this mascara is just a thickening type of mascara, not a lengthening, but it does separate them pretty well. It doesn't clump. Yeah, it separates my lashes. It doesn't clump. Sorry, my camera just went off. out of whack. Um, sorry, I'm checking my time on here. All right. Um... For my lower lash line, I'm just going to bring a little bit of that brown very, very close to my waterline. Forgot about that. I'm just going to take a flat brush, tap it into that brown. And I'm only going to bring it back uh, about halfway almost across my eye. Should have did this before I did mascara, but... Sometimes I'm so scatterbrained, I don't even know what I'm thinking. There we go. So that's done there. Um, I'm probably going to blend that out a little bit more on my eyes in a little bit, but not right now because I'm trying to hurry up. I have like 10 minutes left and I need to get my kids. So I use the mascara, I use the palette, I use the mask, I have the, oh I'm sorry, that was my kid thing. I got the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hairspray, um, well, conditioner spray. And then of course the Kat Von D liquid lipstick and bow and arrow. I'm just going to line my lips real quick. And I'm using, um, it's actually an Avon lip liner. It's just in the color neutral. It's T520. It's very similar to like a raisin color. I just feel to break down some of the cool tone of the lip, of the lipstick itself on my, on my lips. So that way it doesn't totally wash me out. I don't know what it is. Like, I have a neutral skin tone and everything, but all the cool tone colors totally wash my face out. It doesn't matter if it's eyeshadow, lipstick, anything. And I don't really overline either. And it's not even that... Like, I have anything against it or whatever. I just don't know. Sorry about that. I don't ever do it right, so I don't even attempt it anymore. There we go. Lips are lined. And this is, like I said, the shade Bow and Arrow, which is totally dry in my hand. And, I mean, it's a little, I put a little, like, a thicker coat, so it is, like, transferring off when I touch it a little bit. made a funny noise, didn't it? So, 
That's the lip color. Hopefully you can see it good enough. I feel like if I turn on another light, it'll actually make it worse, so I don't want to, like, blur me out totally. But, so that is everything I got in my BoxyCharm. So if you want, I can go over it again. I got the Midnight Masquerade palette from Pure. I got the Black Bamboo Charcoal Peel-Off uh, Lace Mask. I got the It Cosmetics Mascara. Um, I got the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick and the shade Bow and Arrow. So that was my BoxyCharm box this month. Um, I think out of all the boxes, I would rate that as maybe a four out of five, being like five my favorite, one being my least favorite. I think this box would definitely be a four. Um, just so you know, this lipstick, if you touch your lips together before it's dry, it will stick. So you kind of got to be careful touching your lips. But yeah, I mean, I like the way the eyeshadow palette performed. I mean, it's not my very favorite eyeshadow in the world, but it's not the worst. Um, it's actually, you know, right there. It's, it's in between okay and good. Um, the mascara, I like. I mean, it didn't do anything too crazy, but then again, if I would have curled my lashes, you would really see. If you can see my lashes now because I just pushed them up a little bit. So it did, you know, give them more definition. Um, you know what? I didn't even think about it. I should probably put eyeliner on. That would help. <laughs> Got a rain, sorry. And I'm just going to use my dark brown eyeliner I always use. Figure that'll help my lashes also to be able to give a real sorry, I didn't know light was doing that. Give a real example of what the mascara does when you put eyeliner on it does make it better there we go so there it is with liner um what do you guys think of your box did you get the same things do you have boxy charm um you know let me know i always like to hear from you um I don't get too many comments, but when I do, you know, I always respond. I always, you know, like the comment. Um, I would like to have more communication with you guys. So if you can, just, you know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you got in your box, whatever. So I hope you guys liked my video, and I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye.